slash commands are finally here in next chord and they've been done properly some other forks have done it i guess not the best way and it's been a bit rushed but here in next chord they've been done thoroughly and for the intent for the best user experience for the developer big thank you to alento who mainly coded slash commands into next chord and implemented them so yeah thanks for doing all that hard work so now we can implement slash commands into our bonds slash commands run on interactions and basically what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to change up start imports and install a couple new things so we can use slash commands. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do pip install dash nextcord. Now if you haven't installed nextcord uh, before, still do this. And if you have already installed it, still do it because what this will do is this will already this will I guess just update your nextcord into the latest version so it can have timeouts and slash commands here it sees here you can see that what it basically did is it uninstalled it and then it installed it again pretty nice and now we can actually start developing it so what we, we have to do is over here when it says import next chord we want to do actually change this to from next chord import and we're going to import interaction interaction slash option and channel type with that we're also going to add from next chord and this time it's a b c i don't know what the c stands for but i think or i don't know what the b stands for but like application commands something in the middle alaska lento maybe about that but from next chord dot a b c import and this we're going to import guild channel and lastly, we can just also add import next chord, like so. Now, we're going to create a variable. And this is going to be called testing server. And here, we're going to pass in the ID of that testing server. So we could do testing server ID and pass it in. You have to do whatever uh, server you're going to be trying your slash commands out for testing purposes, passing the ID of that. This is my main server. I'm just going to pass it in here. This is because when you're testing it, we want to instantly add slash commands to that server. But if you're, I guess, this is a production bot when you're going to be pushing everything out, you're not going to need this. But what you will do, well, actually, what it will do is it will take up to an hour for it to update. Also, you may want to reinvite your bot to the server with the in the OAuth tab for the Discord developer portal have application commands checked off as well, just so you could also use slash commands inside the server. Anyways, now let's actually create a slash command. So what it is, it's pretty easy. So we can just do at client.event or not event actually. This is gonna be different. It's gonna be at client dot slash underscore command. And inside here we can pass in guild underscore sorry guild underscore IDs and then just pass in testing server ID. Like so. And this should be inside of an array. Something like this. And then we could just create it just like a regular command. So we're going to call this slash command one or YouTube slash command. And inside here, we're not going to be passing in CTX like we usually do. Instead, we're going to be passing in interaction. And over here, this should equal interaction like so. And for next uh slash commands you will be using interactions so you're gonna have to get used to that so instead of ctx.author it might be interaction.user stuff like that but then we're gonna do oh wait interaction dot response bonds 
dot send underscore message and now inside the message we're gonna create like whatever you want it to send so this will be your ctx dot send just for slash commands we can send hi youtube okay this is just what we're gonna send and that's basically this is your first slash command it's super simple and it only took around like 10 lines of code but now let's say you want to use arguments inside here well we're gonna do that as well so what we can do is do same thing here at client dot slash command like so and then do async def and inside here what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna do let's just say a say command so repeat and I spelled that wrong 100% I think that should be good and then do inside here pass it interaction same thing and then but right here we're missing something we're gonna add in an argument so we can call this I don't know message and we'll just make sure that this is a string so we'll only accept strings and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the same exact thing here we can in fact just copy this paste it in here and over here we're just gonna pass in message or maybe f string it even and say you said And once again that's it you can also pass in multiple things here so let's say we want a name so this is going to be called repeat and then description equals I don't know I guess repeat whatever the user says there it's that simple and it, you can easily add it as well so now we're gonna hop into my discord which link down in the description please join i'm trying to get to a thousand members we're just gonna test it out and see if it works but wait before we do that um change channel underscore ids to guild underscore ids i got that error when i was trying to run it but now we're actually gonna go into discord and right off the bat here we see that drone is online so that's a good sign and in order to run slash commands we're just gonna to click our slash button and over here a bunch of the slashes will come up so here's ping over here for my project Globot, but over here it's all dank memers here is um, one of my admins bots they have their own and then proton all of that but now here you see drone also added and here are the two commands that we actually made so repeat will take in a message argument and youtube slash commands is just something we run so we can click that and here enter and i guess yeah hi youtube subscriber i'll steal your cookies i will do it don't don't challenge me i will steal your cookies but now let's say we want to run the other one repeat and i'm gonna repeat subscribe or cookie there you go it's the same exact thing you said whatever I said right there and that slash commands right there for you now if I did not add the guild IDs this would have taken an hour to update so that's why when you're doing it for production use then yeah you shouldn't remove that and just wait the hour because you're not gonna be able to add all of the servers in like an array but for now if you're just testing you could easily just do this and it works so you can't and some frequently asked questions also is you can't add cooldowns to this because actually YouTube has or not YouTube I got this stuck discord has their own cooldowns you see like it'll stop me after a time and after a time I'll also be rate limited so you can't exactly spam it and you can't spam the repeat one also because it takes in an arg you can't exactly yeah if I try paste it again same thing here but yeah
that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it's been a blast to make and i'm taking a bit things a bit slow in january and february so i'm not gonna be uploading as much but i will be uploading and keeping you guys up to date on new features that arise and new discord things but anyway that's it for today's video till next time close skill see ya